I am so super excited tonight because I am talking to a dear, you know, friend of mine that I have known for years and um, she is the most super talented, you know, woman I know. God, she's got a voice. And, you know, she's been living in Brisbane, you know, tucked away and no one discovered her until now. And she's in, you know, the amazing musical production of Hairspray. And I've got to say, welcome, Asabi Goodman. Hello, darling. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good to see you. Oh, it's so good to see you too. You know, you're you're tucked away in Melbourne right now in my hometown where I was yes. born. And I, I see that you're enjoying the food around there at the moment. Lots of good food, lots of good venues, but I'm also working hard. <laughs> I, I, well, you're, working you've hard. just finished rehearsals. Um, you're, yes. at the, you're at the Regent. Oh, what about uh, yes, yeah. we move in next week. So our crew has already started moving in, you know, the background sets and props and what have you. And we're still in our rehearsal space for one more day. And then on Tuesday, we move into the region and we start teching. And it's the most amazing feeling. Like I'm still kicking myself. Yeah. Can't believe this is happening over the moon. I'm loving the entire process, the rehearsal process, everyone involved, you know, the creatives, the cast, it's an amazing cast. And it, this is a dream come true. It truly is a dream come true. Oh, oh Sabi, I couldn't be happier for you because, you know, you, you mentioned the cast and, and let's just go through it. Todd McKinnon. Yes. You know, Rhonda Birchmore, the, 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 the woman with the legs that just keeps going yes. and going. Um, Rob Mills, one of my favourite, favourite, you know, oh, talents in this country. Um, and, you know, and then I've got Asabi Goodman to join Shane Jacobson in the Tony Award winning Broadway production of Hairspray. You know, opening in August. <laughs> like, yes, this is exciting stuff. And... You know, we're absolutely applauding you because, you know, this is, you know, probably the beginning, you know, even though you, you had a even a small part in Elvis um, as well. I did. Yeah. Yes, yes. It was a very small part. But yes, I have no just... small parts. It, it, it was an amazing opportunity. It was so amazing. You were on um, set I... with Baz Luhrmann for weeks. Yeah. And... Yes. That film is now one of the biggest films, you know, globally. <laughs> so it is. It's it great is. to be part of a success story uh, film mm -hmm. on the Gold Coast, which is better. And, uh, and then, <laughs> you know, you've gone from there now to stage, which I've got to say, this is probably your platform because, you know, your voice is stunning. Mm. And... Oh, tell us, you know, tell us about your role. You know, what are you doing in, in Hairspray? So I'm the principal Motormouth Mabel in the show. And Motormouth Mabel is sort of the, the voice of reason and the educator, if you will, in the show. And, you know, she is kind of the, the stalwart. She's the one that the kids, uh, the Motormouth kids, as we call them, sort of look up to. She's like everybody's auntie. You know, and she's the one that helps Tracy to understand this fight for desegregation that she's going through. Right. So she's she's a she's a powerful character. Um, she's not seen much, but when she is seen, you know, it's just massive. It's so big. So it's and it's big shoes to fill as well. You know, the women who've played her before and. Queen Latifah is probably the one that most people know. Yeah. She played her in the film. Yeah. So yeah. there's just, it, you know, it's a big role for me. Yeah. And as my first commercial musical, this is, I, I couldn't be happier to be able to take on such a role for my first big outing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really just ecstatic. <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, well, I, again, why wouldn't you be? 
you know, it's, it, <laughs> you know, it is a role that you, you know, you obviously would fit into, I think, perfectly. And I'm sure you're going to get a big applause on it on the, especially from opening night onwards. Oh, well, how do you love working with the, with the cast so far? Who's, who's the most fun that you're having with right now? Oh my gosh. Everyone is delightful. I, I can't say that there's one person that's better than the other, you know, like everyone is very friendly. Um, I'm really enjoying meeting a lot of the younger cast members, you know, and hearing their stories and how they've come to be where they are. But then there's this beauty in sitting with the likes of Donna Lee and Shane Jacobson and Todd McKinney and Rhonda Birchmore and and Rob Mills and hearing their stories, you know, yeah. like they, yeah. like there's at least 120 years of experience collectively between them. Oh know? yeah, and they're so willing to share and you know to help give guidance and um, you know, and it's it's kind of funny because I don't I don't see myself yet <laughs> in the same category with them, and they're like, where have you been all this time? You are, you know, they're, they're, they're constantly giving me accolades, which is really lovely of them. And, um, you know, to be put on, to be considered, just to even be thought of as being on the, the same level playing field with them, yeah. it still just blows my mind, yeah. you know, that I'm here with this, this Australian theater royalty yeah. and, you know, I'm, I'm going toe to toe with them. Yeah. And yeah. I love that. Yeah. I just... Oh. Yeah. It's it's amazing. It is just it's just an amazing opportunity. I don't know if I can say that anymore. No, <laughs> but I'm just loving yeah. it. No, it's it's great. You know, well, you know, you're in a it is a, a John Fr Frost production who is like he's the master of theatre. Um, he, you know, he is. He does, oh, he does one of the you know major always major major production lines, and you know he's. It's fabulous that you are now in in with John Frost Productions because you know your other other appropriate roles for yourself will probably you know he'll he'll pull you in and you know and I'm sure there'll be a lot of door knocks you know to come but but you're oh, touring so. you're touring with the show I believe um, it got announced yeah. um, this last week. Last Friday. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So you Yes, yeah, so we're going we'll do three months in Adelaide. We yeah. take a short oh, sorry, three months in Melbourne. Oof. I don't know where my brain is today. That's and then right. we take a short break and then we go to Adelaide and then on to Sydney. Which is okay, so that's exciting. This is a, an extended, you know, job for you now, so to speak. This mm. this keeps going. Yeah. Oh, so it's about yeah, months. yeah. I'm wondering if it's gonna. I I know Brisbane is the hardest place to find venues right now, so this yes. is this is an issue, I believe. But fingers I mean, crossed. It, yeah. yeah, fingers crossed. We hope to come to Brisbane. Yeah. Um. I mean, I I I don't. <laughs> I can't imagine not doing this in what I consider my hometown. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, we have to. I, I'm really hoping that we will make it to Brisbane. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm I'm sure you know they'll they'll be they'll be uh you know if I know the Brisbane, you know sort of venue people here because especially QPAC would love to have this. So mm -hmm. let's, let's. Oh, I know they would. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I do know that the QPAC would definitely love to have it here. Yeah. And yeah. it would do well. You know, it's it's one of those musicals. That is just beloved by so many people. Yeah. Like, you know, you tell people about, and, and even, you know, I work with a lot of musicians and I'm really, they don't normally work, the musicians I work with, they don't normally work in the theater world, but they all know Hairspray. You know, they all know it. Yeah. They know the music. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just one of those musicals that everybody loves. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it is. I love yeah. it. I, I always get a kick out of watching you know the whole the whole music dance. You know, and, 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 yeah, it's great. John Travolta. Yeah, uh, there's a lot favorite. of dancing in this show. <laughs> it's, 
Wow. There's so much dancing, a lot of dancing. Yeah. Is, is, is um, Todd McKinney doing a lot of choreography with this show as well? Uh, he, so our choreographer is from the West End. So he was in the original West End production. And wow. um, Todd's fantastic. Todd has a little song and dance number with Shane Jacobson. And the two of them together... You know, they're old friends. They've yes. been friends for a long time. I know. And the two of them together is just pure magic. Yeah. Like it yeah. is, ugh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, audiences are going to love them together. They're so funny yeah. and lovable and just yeah. heartwarming. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, look, you're, you're in good company. There's no doubt about it. And I know that's why it tickles <laughs> your heart and, uh, yeah, and it and it does. It just you know pleases us back home here because yeah. Once I share this with everybody, with our with all our sort of network uh, in in, yes. in terms of you know southeast Queensland, really. Yeah, and I'm, I'm sure <laughs> everyone is going to be excited to you know oh, see fine. you. So, and yeah. you know they can always come to Melbourne and see it, and then well, win, and if we do make it to Brisbane, they can yeah. see it again. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm. I'm gonna try and see if I can, yeah, nip down to Melbourne myself. So, it, yeah. I haven't left, you know, the state in over two years. I haven't done yes, an airport, exactly. you know. So there's, yeah, I would love, and that, it, you know, there'd be other reasons I could, you know, eat, mm. shop, you know, <laughs> see some yeah. family and. Yeah, it'd be you know, great. and people they could make a, a weekend or a week yes. out of it because the good thing is that there's tons to see in Melbourne. Yes. So you know, we've got Hairspray opening at the Regent. You've got Hamilton that's yes. playing. You've got Six that's playing. Nine to Five is playing. Yes. You know, there's a whole host of oh. theater that's on right now. Yes. So there's is. tons to see. So you know, I kind of think of. Melbourne, like the equivalent of West End or Broadway. Yep. So yep. there's just Harry Potter. Harry Potter is running right now as well. I haven't seen so, that one. Yeah, you, you know, there's to. so much yeah. to see. I've seen Nine to Five because it was here um, a couple months back now, and that was great. That was so yeah. fun. Yeah. That was yes. so much fun. It was um, good. I've seen it twice. <laughs> good on you. Good on you. Good. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Asabi, I could talk to you all night and I'm just, again, <laughs> I, I think we'll have to pick it up in, uh, another interview down the track just to see how things are yeah. going and we'll stay in touch. Yes. And, uh, you know, but in the meantime, okay. folks, it is opening in Melbourne and then heading to um, Adelaide, as you said. And, yes. And um, then Sydney. And then Sydney. You know, so, yeah, you better start, you know, looking at the tickets because I think they'll be selling yes. out. <laughs> It'll be really <laughs> a smash hit for sure. So thank you, darling. We absolutely wish you here, but we're thank so you. glad you're there and, you know, and doing your thing <laughs> because, yeah, we'll be plodding in the, in the aisles for you. Thank you. Okay, darling, bye. <laughs> bye. bye.